How do you explain your share price uh, down almost 10 percent today? Well, I think we're, we're quite pleased with our first quarter performance in terms of uh, our top line growth. We, we grew over 6 percent in EMEA, in Latin America, in Asia Pacific, and also good underlying performance in, in North America. Of course, the challenge that we're facing along with the industry is that input costs are accelerating, both in terms of raw materials such as steel and plastic, as well as, well as uh, uh, logistics costs. And that is, uh, we, we were guiding for, for higher costs in those areas, uh, but we also guided that we will be able to offset those through um, price increases and, and, and further cost efficiencies. Okay, how concerned are you about a potential escalating trade war? Well, it, it is a concern um, because, of course, the, uh, the, the uncertainty that that uh, creates and, and, and the sometimes uh, sort of skewed impact of, of cost depending on where you happen to man manufacture and source. So that's something that we're, of course, uh, monitoring closely and, and are concerned about. Um, what, <coughs> sir, what is the worst-case scenario for Electrolux? And, and is there anything that you can do to prepare for that worst-case scenario if it were to unfold? Well, for us, the, the real concern is that uh, it, this could re result in, in, in an unlevel playing field, let's say, de depending on where in the world you manufacture and, and sell. You know, we're, we're a global company. Uh, we manufacture uh, around the world and we source around the world. And, and, the, and the risk, of course, with uh, escalating uh, trade barriers is that that could have unintended consequences uh, that, that could skew competitiveness among, among competitors. And that, that's our main concern. Okay, going back to the cost for raw materials, is there a risk that you might have to raise your forecast for that again? I think we're, uh, we're probably well aligned with the market outlook right now, and also a significant part of the, the cost for the, the, the remainder of 2018 are, are secured uh, at these levels. So we, we see a limited risk uh, for, for 2018. Um, you also say that price increases in North America will start showing effects this quarter. To what extent will that make up for the increasing raw material costs? Yeah, for, for the full year, we expect the combination of price and cost efficiency to fully offset the impact of, of increasing raw material costs. There, there's, of course, a little bit of a time lag uh, in, in terms of the impact uh, on, uh, on revenue of the price increases. But, but overall, for the year, we expect to fully offset that. Mr. Samuelson, how much do you travel to, to Brussels to try and avert this, you know, to try and put pressure basically on the Brussels authorities, the European authorities, to try and avert a, a crisis in trade with the U.S.? Well, we, we of course, uh, try to really make our, our uh, perspective heard around the political spectrum. And, 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 and really the, the, the key point here is, is uh, to uh, explain to policymakers the unintended consequences of, of some of the policies and to make sure that of course, moderation and pre preferably uh, uh, no increases in tariffs, but, but the, to make sure that the changes that are made are, are made with a full understanding of the, of the consequences uh, on, on um, a major employer uh, like ourselves, both in, in Europe and in North America. Have, have you heard from them that they think that the exemption can be extended? Well, I, I, we certainly hope so, but, uh, but it's, it's impossible for me to speculate on that. Uh, sir, thank you so much for your time today. <clears throat> that is the Electrolux Chief Executive. He is Jonas Samuelsson.